Comfy is not a Pokemon you commonly see in competitive singles, and this is for a very good reason. I mean, just look at these stats. Comfy is a very weak and not particularly bulky Pokemon either. Throw on top of that its lack of coverage and utility options, and you quickly realize why this Pokemon has been NU and PU in previous generations. However, in Gen 9 things have changed quite a bit for this previously unviable Pokemon. Comfy not only has risen up from PU to RUBL, but has seen a significant rise in OU viability. While there's not enough usage to secure spot in the OU tier, it is rated a B minus tier Pokemon in the viability rankings, which is the same as Garchomp of all Pokemon. This is a huge step up from its previous unranked tier. So what changed for Comfy in Gen 9, and how did it suddenly become an actual decent pick in competitive singles? What really makes Comfy stand out is its very strong signature ability, Triage. This ability gives every healing move Comfy uses plus 3 priority. For reference, this is higher than the plus 2 from Extreme Speed and plus 1 priority moves like Sucker Punch and Ice Shard. Comfy can make great use of this with healing moves, with mainly Draining Kiss as it restores a massive amount of HP since Comfy has a very low base HP itself, not to mention the stat boost it gains on it. Alternatively, it also has Synthesis, which provides it with more direct healing that isn't tied to Comfy's outgoing damage. While Comfy itself isn't that bulky, priority healing, in combination with its amazing fairy defensive typing, can quickly make it tough to take out. This is not even mentioning the passive healing from Leftovers or Grassy Terrain, which we'll be touched on further in a second. Other notable moves that Comfy has access to are Calm Mind, Stored Power and Taunt. With the Calm Mind plus Store Power combo, it can quickly turn into a dangerous setup sweeper with insane amounts of healing. Taunt is there to stop any passive Pokemon from shutting it down with status moves like Toxic and Haze. However, Comfy has one more valuable trick up its sleeve. Terrestrialization. Terra allows Comfy to bypass its very poor coverage options by using Terra Ground or Terra Fire to gain a solid coverage move with Stab as well. This allows it to take out steel types it would already struggle with, like in Gambit and Golden Go. Terra Poison is an alternative option if Synthesis is used over Taunt to stop toxic attempts. Comfy works best on more offensively oriented teams, especially on grassy terrain teams. With Grassy Seed, it can instantly gain a defense boost when entering the field, which not only makes it bulkier on the physical side, but also increases the damage of stored power. Grassy Terrain also provides it with passive recovery and reduces the incoming damage from Earthquake, which is especially useful when using Terra Fire or Terra Poison. With Comfy's main appeal being the strong priority healing from Draining Kiss, it will usually invest a lot in HP and defense to make it as bulky as possible. Furthermore, Comfy is one of the few set of sweepers that does not actually care about priority moves since it will move first and heal up at the same time, which can make it tough to revenge kill. Comfy also naturally has a great matchup against many Pokemon in the tier, which provides us with many setup opportunities. It matches up great against the likes of top threats like Raging Bolt, Dragon Bolt, Great Tusk and Zamazenta to name a few examples. This is further improved with Terra, obviously. All in all, while Comfy is not a top tier threat in Gen 9, it is actually a somewhat viable option now, which is a massive improvement from previous generations. It's actually quite refreshing to see a kind of previously underperforming option like Comfy be decent in a generation with ridiculous power creep. But let me know your thoughts about Comfy in the comments. And consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel if you are new. You can also become a member to support the channel even more if you would like. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.